my name is Alexis G. Zoll, and welcome to Bomb.com, where we talk about the things that are blowing up on the internet. So a recent internet craze loosely tied to Halloween is human beings turning themselves into their favorite iPhone emojis. There's a lot of emojis I've been seeing around consistently. Grace Helbig reenacted the old man emoji. But as you iPhone users and Twitter users know, there are a lot more emojis to choose from. So today I'm going to be taking some of the lesser known, lesser represented emojis and putting them on my face. The first emoji I'm going to be putting on my face is this spunky little guy. I think of this emoji kind of like a, a punch or like a bang bang into the room. Alright, so we're just going to be drawing a nice arc there, an arc there, there, and an arc there. We did it! Your face has now been sufficiently emojified and basically punched. Next! I recently ran out of makeup wipes, so this is gonna be fun. The next emoji we're gonna be putting on my face is this one. I like to use this emoji to add a little bit of gangster, a little bit of thug, a little bit of street hooligan rat to every conversation. If something is really cool, really dope, add a cute little 100 next to it. That way everybody knows. So again, we are just gonna be using this one red lipstick. All you gotta do is do a nice... Huh? Oh. You know what? I this up. Bang bang into the room. Now that song is stuck in my head. We are still a nice gentle red hue, but we are going to progress forth nonetheless. The next emoji is a pretty simplistic one. You only need a singular prop to make it. And here we go. The next emoji we're reenacting you are again back to the red lipstick. You are going to take your foot, remove the socks, other sock, and just begin painting the bottom of your foot like a gentle red Hugh. It should look like you stepped in blood colored grapes. And we did it! You are the foot emoji. I think that's what it's called. Then again, I've never checked, so really, I am entirely guessing. Scrub it off like you would a crime scene. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the perfect Nicole Arbor Halloween costume. This costume actually requires very minimal supplies. All you're going to need is a trash bag and a pair of scissors. And you're going to take the trash bag, pop that sucker open, cut a strategic hole where you want her overly sized head to be. You're also going to want to leave some room for her arms. Slice. And then it is time to put the costume on. <sighs> All done. 